She's getting close. She's getting close. Oh yeah, this is, a little, this is one of those videos you won't know if I get it or not. You're gonna have to watch every minute of this one. Okay, we're with Lucas. Yep. Lucas, did you lose your kitten? No. What happened there? It's, it's a summer project. It's a summer beard project, all right? <laughs> a beard project. Hey, I have a lot of projects too. Yeah. Speaking of projects, we got some. We got a cool snake on her eggs, but we covered her up because I don't really want to bleed. I don't want Lucas to bleed. I want to live the dream and have a good time. Uh, sometimes I get bit. I didn't have to say that very often because I got bit like the last clutch I pulled right in the chin. And that being said, 10 years before that I got bit, but he's got some protection. I do, so, yeah. Here we go. So maybe you better pull it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're going to pull it up, pull it out on oh, the idea. So these are rainbow reticulated pythons as a morph. Uh, there we go. She went down. So go ahead. Oh, got it? Yep. So the idea, you see, don't tell her, but we took her out. Oh, this, was, this is why snakes, this is why snakes like small areas. Cause you see, she has no idea what's going on. She's safe. She thinks she's hundred percent safe. And she is because we're going to pull the eggs to save her babies. Because if we left her in there, the odds of her hatching every baby would be probably like, impossible <laughs> she might hatch 25 percent of them but if we do this right we might get an 80 to 90 percent hatch rate so she'd be all with us if we spoke snake and ease <laughs> she would listen to us and she would definitely want the same thing we want that's why she'll tear me up if i'm not careful because this is this is what she wants to protect her she wants to protect those eggs oh man we didn't think very far ahead where's the egg box for him right over there yeah, there's two down okay. there. So, okay. Here, go ahead up down there and pull it. There we go. So, she is sitting on a beautiful clutch of eggs. That ain't the one. I'm gonna shut it. Go one over. Oh, there we go, right there. Stay low, stay low. Okay. Set that right there. So, you're gonna probably need another one. But let me show you guys something really cool. Lucas, grab the next one. There's some eggs hatching. We had some cool snakes last night. Whoop. Hello. Good morning, Vietnam. Okay. So right here. Here, come on over here. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Good morning. <laughs> set, set it down right over there. So check this out. We'll see if the cameraman get eaten. So we got baby, uh, we got uh, baby cows. Now, the funny part about cows is they're born all white and then they get all that cool speckling. And uh, you wanna go grab the cow? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to let her get organized a little bit. I don't know if that's to my benefit yeah. or not my benefit, but the fact that she hasn't struck it gives me a little bit of advantage. Right girl, huh? Whoa. She acts so touchy. Whoa. Come on, girl. Now, the funny part is, is the touching part is actually part of the desensitizing. Because at some point, if I touch her enough, she, she'll she start realizing that I'm not going to hurt her. Snakes are like anybody else. Like, if you meet somebody, you might be a little defensive. And, after, you know, especially in the wrong environment. But after they, you realize that they're not out to bother you, you're not out to bother them, all of a sudden you can have a civil conversation. But, of course, it doesn't always work that way in life, does it? Sometimes it starts out wrong, and it just keeps going. Now, that being said, my job is to make her, whoa, my job is to get her to spend that energy and stay and keep calm. And that's what we all are supposed to do. We're supposed to just stay calm in an adverse situation. Be careful. So Ready? check this out. Your whole farm of cows. No, back up, back up, back up. So there's a couple cows right there. That's what these are, baby cows. And she's going to make something even cooler. Wow, I say cooler. But she makes these amazing snakes. These are her grand grandkids. So check out the crazy pattern. They're all the same kind of snakes. And it goes back to morphs. If you're gonna help pull this clutch, you better hurry. She's already, <laughs> she's already playing games on us. So that's her grandkids. And now 
So come on, girl. Hello, hello. You wonder what this is? This is nothing more than an inanimate object. I don't know if I said that right. Is that right? Inanimate object that she could strike at, not hurt her, and especially don't hurt me. Sorry, guys, but I'm actually trying to save myself, too. But that being said, if I didn't have this, it would be game on. It would be a war. I could just reach in, grab her by the neck, hang on to her, have her wind up. I've done it more than once when I first was learning how to do this. Trust me, if you're a snake breeder, do not do it this way unless you really have mad mental skills because when they start striking, you get nervous, and you get nervous, and you get scared, you make mistakes, and you end up bloody. Now, that being said, I'm old, senile, and I still might get bloody, but I hope not. The idea is real simple. I just wanted to spend that nervous energy. Come on, come on, come on. I want to spend that nervous energy, her defending herself to the point where she starts to realize I'm not as dangerous as I feel or seem and I can get to get her away. What are you, what are you here for, Lucas? Biting toy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the chew toy. I'm the bait. <laughs> How long have you been hanging out here, Lucas? Donating some time and... Almost a year. Almost a year. Woo! Yeah. Well, I hope this isn't your uh, graduation day. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, girl. Come on. Well, that, see now, I just actually exposed myself to a point where I could have gotten bitten because I was paying too much attention to Lucas. Come on. So anyway, we used to just grab him right off, and I just decided one day that, uh, you know what? This is a little bit nervous. She's a little bit nervous, so maybe if I just learn, to learn how to, like, snake whisper, and I just would, whoop, the, the, she's like, I'll whisper you. So the idea is real simple, just that I'm gonna get those eggs without her getting all stressed out. And the cool part about it is, the other thing we're saving is she has to sit on these eggs for three months. No food, whatever water would rain on them was while they'd get in the wild. And uh, in here, of course, they have a bowl close by. She's in this little box because she crawled to be in this little box because she knows that that's the only chance her and the eggs have from all the wild animals. Even though she was never in the wild, she still, she still has those genes like a duck fly south. You know what I mean? What the heck is up with that? And uh, how do they know when to do it and how to do it and which way to fly? But same program genes, some of that special design that animals have. Well, she has that design to know that she has to protect these eggs in the smallest area as possible. I'm gonna maybe get away with this. Yeah, maybe I think I will. It's actually, the funny part is it's six in the morning. So, come on, girl. Good alarm clock. Huh? Good alarm clock right here. Yeah. That's to wake you up. Come on, come on, come on. So, whoa, 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 yep. Now she's loaded up for the big finale that I don't wanna have. <laughs> come on. Come on, burn it out, girl. Come on. So I'm just literally, people think I like try to get bit or try to make them upset, but really I'm gonna just get her, I'm gonna get her just to be ready to come off those eggs without too much of a problem. She's getting close, she's getting close. Whoa, but not close enough, she's getting too close, but not close enough to take her off yet. Whoa, come on girl. Lucas, what are we gonna hear? <laughs> Lucas doesn't care. <laughs> Lucas has been around here just long enough and he's just young enough <laughs> to have a snake like this smoke him. And I got, like I said, I got bit in the chin. Last last snake I egg clutch I pulled. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna try to really get this to close. Come on, you're you're already on the babies. So we don't want you on your babies. It's not your babies anyway, so you're not allowed to be on those babies. Which is what the way they hatch. The funny part is is that they're all wrapped around the babies when they're hatched. Come on. Here, Lucas. Go ahead, take that away. When the babies start hatching normally, got it? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Okay, go ahead and uh, slip that by there. Oh yeah, this is, those, this is one of those videos you won't know if I get it or not. You're gonna have to watch every minute of this one. I still haven't got her off. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, you are still lit up. So I could have pulled the snake last night, but we were hot, tired, <sighs> and she was tired. Now she's not tired. She's rested all night. We have another clutch right over there. Come on. Whoa, come on. Here we go. Now the big question is how many eggs do we got? Here we go. Here we go. So now she's getting a little bit spinning her energy faster. Whoa, dang. You know, you don't understand. When I go, whoa, dang, that means I know if she'd have went, I wasn't getting out of it. Good news, she didn't go. Come on. 
Come on, girl. We gotta post in a few minutes. We gotta go. We gotta go answer comments. Okay, here we go. Go ahead, and pop the top off of that, Lucas. So I see this egg. It rolled over, so I know it was like this. So I gotta stick them the same way they came out because python eggs are actually glued together for a reason. Don't ask me how that happened by evolution. How do you make an egg stick together before it ever was born? That's kind of complicated. I think there's some serious design in this. Whoa, 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 whoa! Dang it! Girl, what's up? Give me some love. I'm just, your babies hatch every year because I put this effort in. I'm taking it for the team. I'm your partner. Come on. Oh man, her tongue's locked out. Come on. What does that mean? That means you really ticked. Okay, come on. Come on. Here, just take your tail off. Take your tail off. Take your tail off. She's a good mom. She's a really, really good mom. And she's really made this gene work for me. Oh. Okay, there we go. Okay, you're gonna keep them just like that. See how they're connected? But yeah. they're, this one was a little bit above that one, so it's gotta stay that way. Okay. I think she wants the cameraman too. Whoa. So now this is where it gets weird, because now she's hanging on the box, which means that I'm gonna have to take a risk because I'd rather get fit than have her pull the eggs over. So, oh, I've been bit. So this is actually the number one way I get bit right here. Because at the end of the day, now she doesn't have a perfect thing to bite, but she still has a leg that she can bite if she just gets so irritated that she can't do anything else but take the frustration out. Wow, look at that. So there's one infertile egg. See, it's got the pointy end. Now the funny part is the fertile eggs, see how white those are? Look at that, a white egg underneath that fertility, but that's the egg growing. These babies are just like your baby. When their baby's born, it isn't born the day, it didn't start, it doesn't, what the conception day is a real date, right? So these babies here are already uh, about 60 days old, at least. And I might be off on that number, not because, not because uh, I don't know, but I don't really know and nobody really knows because the fertility happens in during, before they have this thing called an ovulation. The ovulation the ovulation date was about 60 days ago, but the problem is, is that the fertility is actually before that. So when they put the shell, this shell's actually a, like leather, that goes on after the fertility happens. So they're at least 60, so that one's obviously upside down. If it's got paper on it, it's gotta be like that. <clears throat> yep, she's gonna come up and wanna get me. There we go. I think we're, we I think we won. I'm gonna find out real quick how many eggs. Oh. oh, she's going back. Oh yeah, this we have is interesting. Sixteen so far in here. Seventeen. How many are there? Eighteen. Lucas, how many are there? It's twenty. 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 Oh, how many are there? How many? Are there? How many? How many? Oh, she wants me. Oh, Twenty. Two. Twenty-two. Oh, oh man, she almost got me from all the way up there. Oh, this is where you just get it in the, I got it at least at my backside to her. How many we got, Lucas? It's 23. I'm glad Lucas can count. <laughs> okay. That's enough for this box. We didn't get them all in one box anyway. Now half of these are gonna be those rainbows. So she's bred to a rainbow. Oh. Okay, so we had 23 in that box, so the grand finale. Yeah, the fun part's gonna be putting her away. You guys gonna watch her, play it safe. We'll hit the road quick so you don't have to see anything crazy happen. <laughs> so here we go. I wish I could run. Nah, I wouldn't run. I would want to be here to get her back in her enclosure, let her settle back in. Because like I said, instead of spending 90 days protecting these eggs, always tense, always upset, now and no food, and like it would be in the wild, and having them rot right there in front of you, because that's what happens. Some of them die almost every single time. And, the, you know, the, can you imagine? I can't imagine. I could paint a picture, but it's really ugly. It's wrapped around these pile of eggs and, rodents trying to get to them time to time, which maybe is a snack, because I'm sure, I'm sure they'd kill them. But then all that, whoa, that was close. 
But then you got all those insects. That's the part I couldn't handle is all those insects eating the few rotten eggs because the, the insects eat the rotten eggs whether the mom's on them or not. I mean, the insects don't care. They just start coming in and, and grabbing every little bite they can. And we just had a, a bunch of little baby snake eggs and they were bad and impossible to keep the flies completely away. So we, you know, we hold on to them and make sure that they're, you know, they're bad. And, and so as they go bad, all of a sudden you look over and there's piles of maggots. Well, when they're mixed up half and half, this one only had one infertile, so that would give it a better chance. So what's, what's the total? You guys ready? See if I can put her away. 41. 41. Now the question is, was Lucas right? I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Where that, where's the other bo box? We'll have to recount them. Oh, well, maybe we'll just let them recount them. And there's the two boxes. There they are, guys. <laughs> all fertile. All look great. One infertile in the whole bunch. Come on, Mama. See the... Whoa. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be fun. Whoa. Let me see that hook. She is just game on. This is a video from cover to cover of Mama Sita. <laughs> come on, Mama. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe the camera guy to come over here. I gotta take it for the team. Man. You wanna hold that box and I'll yell at you if you. Come on. That's Gabe. Gabe's backup man this morning. Okay. Come on. Come on. Whoa. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. Don't bite yourself, even though you got bulletproof skin, and I don't. And I say bulletproof. This skin is the toughest, toughest. The, the, don't get her too far out, because I'm still trying to get her to at least settle down a little bit. Whoa. Come on. Come on. Ah, darn it. Okay, come on, girl. Come on. Come on. I want you to strike up. Now I want you to wear yourself out a little bit. So we can get you back settled in and you get back on your normal life. Come on. Just relaxing and eating and getting your stuff. Come on. Okay. Oh man, this is the worst position. Come on. I'm gonna give you a tail back. I don't want your front half. Okay, I yeah, whoa. <laughs> ah, dang it. I don't mind getting bit, but I don't want to get bit. Whoa! Whoa! Come on, come on, girl. Stand back, Lucas. Unhook the tail for me. Ah, darn, too late. She wants to come take care of whoever touched her tail. <laughs> Okay. Whew. Good news is, she's in what she knows is safe. A safe house. Kind of like your bedroom. You get in your bedroom, you shut your door. Doesn't matter what's going on. Even if you live in LA and it's a bad night of the year. <laughs> you just let it all happen, shut your door, and try to rest. Anyway, living the dream. Good job, Lucas. There you go. Good job, Gabe. We survived. We had a good time. Did you have a good time? I did. Anyway, living the dream, guys.